How's it going, everyone? Ever Egg Gaming Gear, another set of episode with more Spongebob Square Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom on the Nintendo GameCube. Welcome to it. So, last time, because um, we just uh, gotten finished on doing uh, what we had to do around here in the Good Lagoon. So, we got everything 100%. So, we go ahead and press on the pod menu again because I just wanted to show you something because we actually did just uh, gotten all eight of the, the Golden Spatula, yada yada. I mean, that's um, that's more than a, a lot that we can manage around here in Good Lagoon because that's the easiest way of how we we get finished on beating Good Lagoon in 100% just to get everything around here. So that's been said, we can move on back to the Bikini Bottom, home peacefully, where we can uh, go ahead and and step onto the uh, next uh, second stage where we go ahead and and also yeah, well, now our first time around because uh, we were actually about to. To encounter one of the uh, boss, which is named Sandy. So Sandy is going to be the, the robot, and it's going to take place somewhere in the in the arena where we go and face off the robot Sandy. So um, let's go exit Gulagoon and let's go back to Bikini Bottom where we belong. And it's home peacefully to us. It's under the sea where it's uh where, which is life, and there's like a lot of these are uh, fishes under under the sea because. There's like many a mystery to solve around here. So let's go on ahead and suck up 15 golden spatula to the enter to the uh to to the Poseidon. It's a Pose Poseidon. Oh, okay, Poseidon. Okay, so Poseidon is uh, where we're heading yet. So this uh, take place somewhere in the arena. So uh, let's go watch the custom. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> and his challenger. Murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. And there's this um reference to the uh, to the first episode of season one of of SpongeBob SquarePants when Patches say, "Look, it's a giraffe." Okay, that line is uh is pretty funny actually, but in a less in a stupid way for kids to understand. Because Patrick think that it's a giraffe, but it's not a giraffe, it's a robot Sandy, and y'all know the rest. Okay, so she could just go ahead and slam with her elbow to create dust everywhere. So the key is using bubble bounce. Alright, so we just go ahead and bubble bounce two of her life points. So the, the first phase is, gets kind of easier, and the second phase is going to be Patrick up next. And this should be the it. That's why it's fun, Bob. Let let Patch play. It's his first time to shine, but uh, now, yeah. Well, SpongeBob will get his second try right after Patch. No worries. I mean, SpongeBob needs to be patient. Patient is a virtue. So let's have Patch shine. It's it's Patch's start time. So so we go ahead and use Patrick Ground Slam. Pick up this uh pick up Sandy's helmet and then go throw it at this uh, machine. Where she go and get hurt by electrocution, which is made out of wires. Yeah, but you can see in the in the entire crowd in the uh, pose of Poseidon, because they're all cheering for like, "Woo, go Patrick, you're a hero!" Yeah, I mean, they they can uh, just cheer on to Patrick, whatever they like. I mean, they're just fish under the sea. I mean, they get to the talk in just different voices. So we'll go pick up Sandy Helmet again. Go throw at these uh, wires. Nice uh, Alright fish, that will do. Alright, so her laugh of her life point is coming up. So she only got four more left. So her last uh, life point is going to be coming up next. So, so we'll just go ahead and... Yeah, well, I, I prefer just using double jump to... Because I don't want to miss my chance to go and... Judge one of uh, Sandy's 
well, well as you can see what's up below because Sandy just go ahead and stretch her legs in a, in a spring turns out that uh, she, that is something that's something dangerous she can't stand on all right so she only got three more life left All right, Spongebob, don't be nervous. You got this. Okay, so... You done it? So now... So then the, the last time... Because we actually get to the go and learn the, um, the, 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 the move called Bubble Bash. So the Bubble Bash is so what Spongebob needs to perform. So let's go try it out. So we go Bubble Bash to the hit the, um, the, the, the helmet on top of Sandy's head. So she she's gonna keep on doing one of this elbow slam. All right, and she's going to sprain her foot, and we have to go and use regular jump. Now I remember in the remake, okay, it actually gets uh, pretty hard when you try to go and jump under the under the, the springs because almost almost over. You're absolutely right. I mean, we we're almost done with Robot by Sandy. So let's let's do a very luck here. So we're gonna jump to the side, jump over it, and we wait until Sandy launches the attack, and we go for one of the uh, bubble bounce. And the last and not only, it's a grand finale with the uh, bubble bash. golden spatula and that's not all a gift certificate for five dollars and 32 cents to dean's little shop of dried fish flakes and flowers oh thank you it all means so much i i i promised myself i wouldn't cry cry all you want but not here we just wax the floors okay all right so let's go and take us back to where plan to move on to the second stage so let's have a listen. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the jump bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Okay, talking to Plankton again? Not thinking. Not thinking. Not thinking. Hurry up. I've got big plans to proceed with. Okay, well, let, let's not uh, wait Plankton too long because he's uh, a tiny businessman and... Rolled the other chum bucket all, all of this um, the sudden. I mean, you just uh, wanted to keep the chum bucket in, in full potential. So now as you guys can see, we go ahead and press and hold the S button. So we have the ability to go and bubble bowl now. So uh, talking to the bubble buddy. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll pull a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Okay then, so talking to Bubble Buddy again, so if we want more advice, then we go and talk to him. Bubble bowling is an important skill to master. Remember to press this button. I won't forget, Bubble Buddy. I absorb information like a sponge. Yes, well, SpongeBob is uh, thinking positive ways of thinking better ideas. Anyway, uh, let's go use the Bubble Bowl to, to destroy one of these tikis. And you saw because the Bubble Bowl quite does uh, disappear that way. And just to listen to the, the, the sound, because that sound looks a bit, a little bit terrifying to me as a kid. Because it felt like, it, it felt kind of funny to listen to the, um, the sound. Because it's the, uh, the sound that is coming from below the abyss. And it, it felt kind of scary. That used to, 
that that felt a little terrifying to me as a kid. But it it gets kind of it, well, it's funny actually because it, it gets kind of enjoyable that way. But you know what? We we need 40 golden spatula to enter to this area. Yeah, I know that. It's that uh, I I'm trying to, to jump over there to get that shiny object, which I can't go do right now. And also, yeah, let's go ahead and do this obstacle over here. So we stand on this platform, had the bubble ball hit that button from underneath. And there you saw because we at, we go activate those uh, green green blocks. So there you saw because there's a trampoline we can bounce onto and one of this uh, golden underwear. So yeah, so I have more but the five go gold pair of underwear. So we get here in one of these uh, green square cubes thingies. Well, eventually, as you do realize, because um, this is like produced by Nintendo GameCube. I mean, you know, you know the rest. Because this is the Nintendo GameCube I'm just playing on. Okay, so uh, we keep jumping. Okay, wait, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Okay, so we gotta try it again because uh, we weren't quick enough. All right, so let's go again. Okay, so we go try this challenge again. Okay, so these cubes go in and flip, and this cube go and push further to the SpongeBob, and we wait until this uh, cube come further downward. So we we'll have that cube go pushing up. And yeah, so we ha have the upper hand to go and grab one of this golden spatula. So that goal increased up more by 29. So it seems like that we got a lot to get catching up around here because uh, we had to get searching on finding more and more golden spatula around here in, in the bikini bottom. And we gotta keep in mind because uh, finding one of the patch of missing socks are gonna get tricky around here in the, the bikini bottom. So, um, uh, so yeah, so we, we can go ahead and sneak out one of these shush tickies. Alright, so we get shiny objects right out of them. And also, uh, let's go to the Sandy Tree Dome. So we may, as we, so we might as well start another battle, right? If we go and enter to Sandy Tree Dome. So we go press on R. So we'll listen to what SpongeBob and Sandy have to say. Daddy, your tree dome is leaking. Them new robots busted a slack, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots, and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. Well, that's not my match to begin with. It's uh, it's Plankton's idea. Blame him. I mean, he's a tiny cyclops and just tried to take over the bikini bottom all of a sudden. I mean, I remember he can just do that in the movies sometimes because he's just um, he's trying to be he's trying to be some tiny Doctor Eggman sometimes. I mean, when Eggman was uh, building robots, then uh, Plankton does. I mean, they just come up with brilliant ideas to like take over universes all over the world. Okay, so it's like Eggman and Plankton are getting along by combining their own strength to create robot. Because like Plankton wanted to go ahead and create robot for for Chum Bucket Industries. Okay, he almost forgot to to set it into obey mode instead of don't obey mode. Uh, uh, don't obey mode, I mean. Okay, so we well, had the robot take out that. Okay, well, it, I did miss the timing, so I did go wasting two pair of underwear. Okay, so we're getting here. It's this um this catchy vibe music going in there because it gets it gets kind of kind of catchy. Okay, so we did destroy all of the other robots. So. We can collect one of this up pair of underwear. And keep that in mind because there are no sign of Patrick missing sock and Sandy Cheeto. Okay, so go to talking to the Sandy again. Alrighty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Alright, so let's go pick up uh, this uh, prize. Alright, so that go make it more by 30 golden specialists now. Alright, so we have more than uh, a lot that we can carry on. So, uh, talking to the Sandy again. Stop your yapping and let's get robot trapping. Indeed. So, let's get trapping and let's get snapping. Let's go and open the, the, the bolt, the, 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 the spinning wheel thing, and we can press onward back to where we came from at the uh, Bikini Bottom. Alright, well, there's uh, like much more to do around here in the Bikini Bottom, so 
There's a lot that we gotta get catching up to the uh, progress of knowing what we need to be doing. So that's about it, you guys. So next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, um, I think we're gonna do the um the, the one called Rock Bottom. So uh, yeah, I think we should go to Rock Bottom. I mean, Rock Bottom used to be one of my most favorite uh, places to go in uh, in the, this this uh, whole new ecosystem. What's uh, coming below the abyss had to lead to the Rock Bottom. So. That's something that we're, we're going to pick up on next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere and you will be participating on staying tuned on next series. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watch this episode. So if you like the series and want to see more of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, be sure to leave an advertise a like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, run the notification bell so that you can stay up to notified for more news and awesome videos upload your way. So just make sure you guys are staying tuned in about me or the issue one of the description or fill down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you can do so with even step by step just to help get you started on support my channel and front the series. So that's gonna be all it for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. We'll be picking up more on the next one. So take care you guys and I hope to talk to you on the next series.